So after you all um, get your refunds and, you know, leave, Sky, you were going to go check up on your <clears throat> product. Oh, hey, look, hey, Aria. Aria. Oh, hey. Sorry I'm late. Thank you for covering on recording. Don't worry. There wasn't much that happened. We waited in the line. Quick, do you want a quick summary? Please. Uh, all right. So uh, at the very beginning, you all found out from crew members escorting you to your rooms that the rooms that you were previously in were destroyed. Guy Great. covered for you saying blah, da, 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 da. You were covered, essentially. And uh, then you were all escorted to this room that is now all of your rooms because there's five beds in it. It's a pretty big room, two baths, full Oh, Bass, you're good. Um, then everybody went to sleep. Uh, Down had a nightmare that no one else heard or anything. Turns out Micaiah is an amazing singer in the shower. Yeah. Micaiah sang like an angel in the shower before bed. Uh, then in the, did, did, did so again in the morning. Uh, there was a small assembly in one of the lower decks that the captain said that, like, essentially, we're sorry for... Anything you might have gone through, we're going to give you a full refund uh, as a small apology. And we hope you can, like, still, we know it's not a lot, but at least take that much. So you get 30 gold, by the way. And uh, so, yeah, yeah that's pretty much gold. where we're at because we just finished uh, the IRL in real time uh, waiting in line to get your gold back. Also, you lose experience points if you haven't watch Jimmy Neutron and Spongebob. Yeah. yeah. Good so, thing uh, I've watched both of them. <laughs> cool. Alright, so you don't lose anything. <laughs> you, so you every session, I'll introduce you... another show that you must have watched, and if you haven't watched, you lose. Your, you start to lose more, like you lose your feet, you lose two con <laughs> permanently. So you guys better have been into your uh, 90s, 2000s. <laughs> five fifth shows, you die. <laughs> and I don't even remember down to on my sheet. Yo, yo, but for real, for real, who who here watched that old school LT Gray boy? I watched like, oh, a I've couple episodes couple of, it. of it. Yeah, dude, I watched that entire thing, and I actually went to the Nickelodeon website <laughs> to see the alternate ending of the last episode. No. Oh, uh, also midnight. Yep. Our characters actually introduced each other, and we know each other's names. Yeah, finally. Yeah, that's important. Oh, um, I I was saying that cardboard Arya just said had like a little button on her that said, "Hi, I'm Arya." <laughs> <laughs> no, she'd be able to keep her mouth shut, anyways. Yeah, there's a little. Hi, button you've on reached Arya. I'm currently not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> Yeah. All right, now we can finally continue with the story. What story? Yeah. What story? What are you talking about? This is the campaign. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so after you all got refunds, and now that Arya is no longer on cardboard. Oh, yeah, um, refund was 30 gold. So you get yeah, 30 gold. Refund? Gold. What refund? Uh, free money. For the trip. So you can pay anything. You just get 30 gold for no reason. Yeah. Woo. But they still give you 30 gold because you're a passenger and you, you actually fought. So, yeah, you got 30 gold. Uh, and, oh, and uh, you're going to be landing in Bryn in a few hours is what the captain said as, as well. Okay. So, a couple on. hours later. <laughs> hold up, guys. I got to hold up. Discord's acting weird. Got to close it and open it back up. All right. But... Uh, yeah, so after you guys finally get all your gold, you got all that, you uh, you have a bit of free time before you land and Bryn. But uh, yeah, so would any would any of you like to do anything? Well, actually, Sky, let's, let's first let's go ahead to you because you already said you wanted to go check on your uh, uh, <clears throat> product. This product is legitimate. Mostly. So, so, um, yeah, so, floor is open to you, so you're going to go check on your product. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I uh, I ask around uh, with the crew trying to find uh, who would be like in charge of keeping track of that stuff, I suppose. Uh, the, the word for that position escaped me. Good. Cargo master? Count mate? No. Something. Let's just say cargo master. That, that sounds like a thing. Sure. I totally know boat names, but yeah, they. So uh, you ask around a few of the uh, the uh, the employees that are around. They uh, point you in the direction of the crew master, uh, who seems to be uh, a few flo- a few decks up and uh, in an office, and you can easily find it. <clears throat> so yeah, a few decks up, and that's easily findable. This, I actually hadn't planned much out for actually role playing through this, but um, this. No, I'm thinking of role playing game. <laughs> well, it's happening now, so you easily find it right in front of his door. Okay, yeah. So I I knock on the door and ask if I if I can speak with him. So tap tap tap. You hear from the other side of yeah. You hear from the other side of the door. <clears throat> yes, who is it? Okay. Uh, hello, this is Miss Highland. Uh, I just wanted to know uh, if I could check on the cargo uh, just to see what might have gone missing. And suddenly I sound Indian instead of Scottish. Yeah, that was kind of weird. But uh, <laughs> regardless, the uh, the voice on the other they side... Me. It's like, they let me in. I thought it would be much harder. Like, I thought it would be much harder than that. Why'd they let you in so easily? They thought I was tech support! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like, did you get the money? It's like, they're, they're still laughing. What do you mean they're laughing? <laughs> they handed me the computer. Why did they hand you the computer? They thought I was tech support! <laughs> does, none of, does, does nobody else watch Gabriel Iglesias? Is everybody just not getting the joke? Gabriel Iglesias no. is a favorite comedian. I watch him all the time. <laughs> Dude, I just, if if he if he comes up on television, ev- we I don't care what else is playing. Super Bowl, I don't care. The cartoons, no anime. Eh. I'm watching Gabriel because I want to laugh. Anyway, uh, the voice uh, speaks up again and says, oh, "Well, uh, I believe I have some time. Come in, come in." Gross cows. Uh, so yeah, she enters and just asks again if uh, if it would be all right for her to inspect the hold. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when you say that, she goes, <clears throat> "I'm afraid that we're still taking stock of what we have left, so I could not tell you if your uh, if your cargo is still here." Uh, however, I could, I'll say that it'll be roughly, roughly an hour before I can, before I can give you a, a certain answer, if you're willing to wait. Oh, that, that is, that sounds perfectly all right. All okay. right, then. Sure. Have a good day. So yeah, she she heads back and she'll find him again in an hour. In it was her. All your cargo is just gone. <laughs> Probably. It was a her, by the way. I was trying to go for female, but I, I know I accidentally said him and his. I I kind of switched it up. Again. As a guy, I stopped trying to do my voice, what, so I can't judge. What what uh, race were they? That was a reindeer. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Thank you for reminding me. I need more of my voice. Nice moose. It's ice moose. Ice, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. So, what is the rest of the party doing uh, while stop. Sky broke off from uh, the group? Wow. Uh, I remember you mentioning poker earlier. Is that around? Yeah, and one of actually, it's in the same deck that you're in right now, just a, a little while down. Uh, would you like to ask someone for directions? Uh, she probably wouldn't. She'd just try to spot it if she can. 
Look for people with cards. Animal. Whatever. Look for the um, people that are alive using cards. The living creatures. Uh, Alright, then roll me a perception check. Okay, nope. Just just one. To look around the room and see, try to see people with uh, cards or chips, things of the like. Fifteen. Fifteen? All right. You do, after a quick scan of the room, you do, in fact, see a few ungulates and humans and variant humans uh, walking around with what appear to be small chips and or decks and or are following employees with... uh, with makeshift tables, like uh, basically like carrying equipment to another room, and you can easily uh, identify that they are probably going to whatever it is that you were trying to find them for. You know, poker cards at least. Okay. Uh, Don walks over and just. Mind if I join? Uh, closer. You're getting. I didn't there. say that last bit. <laughs> You're getting there, delusional. Don't lose hope. Never give up. Just do it. Anyway, um, so uh, don't let your dreams be dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams, man. So, uh, a variant human who has tusk in his mouth and is wearing a fancy black suit, uh, red bow tie and all, fancy shoes and all, uh, says, "Sure, the more the merrier." Come along, friend. She does. Hmm. So eventually, um, after a few minutes of walking down hallways, passing by other passengers, going about their day, you uh, you enter this. You'd probably assume is the adjoining room, adjacent room, uh, from the one you were just in. Still just as big, um, and. It is uh, lavishly decorated, but uh, it seems more uh, more of a casual environment, filled with uh, you know shrubbery, potted plants to make it uh, make give it a bit of more uh, homely appearance. Whereupon you see the employees carrying in all of these tables and beginning to set up for uh, cards, you know, craps, dice, <laughs> all that. And I can say crap because it's a game and not a swear word. But uh, yes, after a few minutes of uh, standing around, uh, you see the uh, a few of the guests uh, begin to pile around this uh, these tables. And uh, actually, which what what game were you hoping to play, if any? Uh, Down was looking for poker. All right, so uh, you you easily see the half orc that uh, said the more that talked to you go to a poker table nearby. He uh, sits down, and there's an open chair right next to him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, down uh, takes a seat. All right. So the employee, the shuffler, as I'll call him, because I... the, oh, dealer. the dealer, the dealer, <laughs> it just hit me as I, <laughs> no, I like the shuffler before, before you said that. <laughs> I prefer shuffler. Yeah. The shuffler. Roll to avoid unarmed. Uh, the uh, the shuffler, as it were, uh, um, begins to deal cards to everyone. As uh, everyone starts to throw in chips that they have down, you do not have any chips on you. <laughs> uh, however, however, the half work seated next to you sees this and says, <clears throat> Ah, you seem to be lacking chips. Care for a free handout? As he slides one of his small piles close to you. Uh, down takes it. You know what that means. Go all in. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, So. Thanks. That could be better. Hmm. So he responds with, no problem. 
The name is Reginald, as he stretches out a hand in a, hand in a handshake gesture. Down accepts the shake. Shake, shake, shake. Eye contact. Hold and release. <laughs> that is a proper technique for a handshake. It's true. No, he, just, he just gives him like the dead fish handshake, just floppy hand. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. But uh, Reginald continues on that I hoped with you I hope to have a pleasant uh, game with you, my friend. But to see where the fates shall lie as uh, the shuffler begins dealing out cards. So um how would poker play out in dice? Um, this a roll for roll. it plus proficiency, I figured. Maybe use your deception. I always figured charisma, possibly deception. Yeah, yeah, those seem those seem pretty good. And so um delusional. I'm proficient in poker but not deception. What do? Uh well, if, you're, oh. if you're proficient in poker, just roll like charisma with proficiency for your poker. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Delusional. Oh. Roll me a charisma check with I proficiency. Did. I did that. All right. So, <clears throat> with an eight, uh, you hold up your hand, not not your hoof, your hand, your, your cards. You hold up your cards. What are hands? Your hand. Talent. Ponies can't play cards. <laughs> no, your hand. It, this is actually what it's called in the game. It is not your hand, hand. Whatever. You hold up your cards. Ugh. I guess they're all picky. You hold up your cards, and uh, with an eight, you, uh, you ante up. You throw two more blue chips in. Call. And the, uh, the shuffler flips over oh. another card. Delu or not delusional, down. <laughs> down, you have, from, from, from the cards in the center, you, have, you can tell that you've got a pretty good hand. However, it is not the best hand, you know, from playing poker. You can do better. So after this card gets flipped, you can see, you look around to the other players. Make me an insight check. You're looking right. directly, directly into their eyes, trying to spot any cracks. Ooh. Oh, crap. Any cracks in their, uh, in their gaze. So the other players, uh, you can tell all of them uh, are very wary right now. You can tell from their eye movements, their twitching eyebrows, their... Uh, they're uh, what's it called? They're tap tap tapping on the table. They're they're little calls. They're little signs that something is not right. That they could be doing better, but they are not. At the very least, for now. You can tell. You can also tell Reginald. Yeah, he was he was a bit harder. However, you could see the corner of his eyebrow just very quickly do a little small twitch. However, you couldn't tell if this was a good or bad sign. So, roll me another charisma check with uh, proficiency. How? Dang, wow. it's only getting worse. Wow, man, wow. That one is not good at cards. Yeah, uh, so another card gets flipped. Now, this actually ruins your hand. You had a better chance before this card was up. So everybody else is trying to read everybody else's expression. So make me... What would that be to try and... Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess deception. You, uh, make me a deception roll to try and hide the fact that you have a bad hand. All right. Ow. <laughs> hmm. Let me just work something. All right, fair enough. All right. So you don't 
let on. You don't do any little signs that you're actually kind of nervous of the cards uh, that are currently out on the table. Uh, except for Reginald. He can easily read you. You're like an open book to him. You're, just, you're like, he's like Fabio. He's holding you in his hands like an open book on a cliff with waves crashing against him on a, at sunset with his shirt slightly open. <laughs> Basically, wow. he's half work Fabio is what, is what the thing I was trying to uh, convey good, is. Good to know. Yes, good, good visual, good visuals. Mm. Would you like to do anything while you're doing this, or say anything? Actually, converse. Not really. She's not the talkative sort. Mm. So she doesn't engage in table talk. All right. So in this next round, you ante up, and actually, two of the other members fold their hands. So now it is just you, Reginald, and one other player who is a who is an alpaca, an old alpaca man with a uh, with a form-fitting tuxedo. Seems everybody's in tuxedos. How do you like? A very dapper. Hmm. With uh, fedoras. Conscious. With fedoras. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway. But uh, now, let's see. Next, yeah, make me one more. One more. Uh, charisma savings. Not savings. Charisma check with proficiency. How many oh. cards are typically flipped in a game of poker? Five? Four? It's been three, two. Let's hope this isn't one. It's five. Perfectly average. So it's ten. Uh, no, but seriously, how many cards are usually flipped in the game of poker? I forget. It's, uh, it's five. Are you talking five? five? You get two in your hand. All right. That's, that's just that variant of poker. There's other variants of it. Mm. Let's just cut it down to how many would this... I think three... Four. Yeah, three to start. Let's, just, let, let's just say this one is the last one, last card. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Uh, good. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Uh, this episode of It's Always Sunny in Earth. <laughs> there we go. So, um, let's go. You, uh, the last card is flipped over. This one's the last one. Uh, the last card is flipped over, and you can tell that your hand is uh, uh, equivalent to. Is the royal flush really good? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the best possible hand you can get. Okay, down. Let's say you have a royal. No, it's not the best flush. Whatever. You have a royal flush in your hand and on the table, but uh, what do you do? Uh, do you look over at your opponents and make them weep? Or do you try and wrath or not wrath them? Uh, ha what is it? Hag yeah, has it a real straight flush. Hassle? No, not, not... What's it called? Ah, what is it? Like, like the thing that the uh, baseball players do to the to, to the guy at the bat, like hoot, hoot, holler, heck, there we go, heckle. Are you talking Do you about want to heckle sports them? ball in a D and D oh, game? Wait, um... <laughs> I thought that was banned here. I don't know, but heckle. Do you want to heckle these guys? Is just what I meant because uh, I couldn't remember the word. Uh, probably not. All right sure. then. So the the shuffler says. Uh, how do you typically end poker? I don't know. I guess he just says, show your cards. Right. Present your cards. Throw something down. Something like that. You call Throw it. down. Slam dunk. Slam jam. Face I'm going to send these fools to the shadow realm. <laughs> send them to the shadow realm. All right. So you reveal your hand, which is a royal flush. Time to get your game on. 
and it is revealed that the alpac gentleman only had a two pair and what's his, what's his name um i've already forgot oh reginald there we go and uh reginald only had a straight so you went down, and the worth of the chips were five gold each. Everyone puts some in. Let's just say you get another forty gold from this. Okay. In chips. So you easily, that. easily win forty gold. Okay. Easily. <laughs> so yeah. actually. Once you win, let's cut back to what everybody else was doing. Yeah, that's what I was going to so say. The, I the rest of the team, game. the rest of the team sees that Sky cut uh, broke off as well as down. So Arya, Glenn, and Micaiah are. I am back. To, yeah, I was about to say. I just saw your mic mute, and I was like, "Oh, he is not." Here. You, you three are still in the room where you received your refund. Uh, so, what would Glenn be doing right now? That's a great question. Not playing poker. Not playing poker. It's the same thing said for all of us. Do you, do you want to do anything? Do you want to hear some options? I can say this much, I'm reading a book. Like a All nerd. Right. Well, well, man, Glenn, because he just didn't say anything. Wait, what? I, I said, said that because he wasn't saying anything. Are you doing anything? Do you want to hear some options? Or... Options are good. All right. Well, you see down go the... Uh, an adjacent hallway. Sky heading toward another adjacent hallway. Uh, you can easily tell that this room, you could go back to your room and just your shared room for, I don't know, potentially alone time. You could go back up to the main deck, although it's probably closed off for now. You could just wander around the ship. Could talk to passengers. You could Go back and inspect your luggage to see if anything was taken. No, I, uh, I didn't bring any excess luggage. Things of that sort. Would you like to do anything? Not particularly. Just go to some place uh, that's not crowded. All right, so you're wandering around the ship. So, Arya, you said you were reading a book. Yes, I happen to have a book on me, and I'm reading it. All right. Where would you be reading this book? Still in this giant room, or go? Well, okay. I, I don't quite know what this room is. Is this the room that we are staying in, or another room? No, you were in the room. giant auditorium, but then you were in line to get to this room, which is where you got your refund. It's a, it's a smaller room. It, okay. In the room we were assigned, I'm reading it. All right, so you went back to the shared room to read a book? Yeah. All right. What are you reading? Fifty Shades of Well, for all intents and purposes, it's a holy book. All right. So, Heresy. <laughs> so, Mikai, Shh. everybody else broke off in their own respective directions. So what would you be doing during this? Um... Well, Micaiah is going to, out of curiosity, head to her original room and see if there was really anything that she lost. All right. So you head in the direction of your old room. You still remember the path quite easily. There are signs indicating numbers would go where, you know, like 312 to like 352, things like that. So you easily okay. find what? I'm not kidding. Wait, what? Exactly what it is. I thought I, didn't I, heard hear you. Say, I thought I heard you say, "Are you kidding?" No, I said tree fitty. <laughs> oh, tree fit, whatever. But uh, you easily refind your old room, 
And uh, it is, in fact, closed off right now with uh, tape and traffic cones and, you know, just every which way man don't go this way. Tape, traffic off. cones, wet floor signs. Wet floor signs, oh, especially the wet floor signs. It's a really Missing big wet floor, floor signs. signs. But uh, you can clearly tell that they took the... They took the what? You cut out. The whole room! No! <laughs> It's just, a, it's just an open. Pretty doorway. much seeing just... that her, her saying that her room is completely wrecked, and all of her, and aside from the stuff on her carriage, she, all the stuff she brought is just gone. She's gonna sigh and make her way back down to the shared room. Hmm. Well, your regular luggage was brought to your shared room, but uh, anything past that, you'd have to actually case to see if anything missing because for all intents and purposes the the, the uh, employees just brought you your luggage case but they did not look inside so they don't know if anything was taken or not yeah she's going to search through her, uh, through her luggage to see if there, anything really was uh, anything important that she packed was gone alright so you look through the luggage you see Arya there reading a book in her bed um, you look through your luggage, and you know you find all your regular essential toothbrush because you're a, a classy ungulate. You're a regular ungulate who actually packs a toothbrush. Uh, toothpaste, clothes, what little you wear. Uh, you find your drum kit, your cymbals, your guitar, your triangle, your clarinet, <laughs> your, <laughs> your, your, your accordion, your theremin, your theremin. <laughs> <laughs> you know they make a toothpaste out of your juice harp. Can't forget the uh, juice harp. I mean, bards are proficient already in three instruments of their choice. I was just listing off a couple. <clears throat> anyway, um, but uh, nothing, nothing really important seems to be missing per se. However, at the bottom, probably, probably at the bottom, you see the. Uh, Tattered flag of uh, the skull and crossbones of a dragon. How did that get there? Oh yeah, I, was like, I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know that she had that she fell for. She's a pirate. She's she's gonna look at all her stuff and just and pick everything up. Zip up the zip up the case. Mm. And uh, she's gonna. Go. She's gonna look over to Arya and ask, uh, "What are you reading, if I might ask?" Oh, I'll read the holiest of books. Hey, what was that you said? You cut off. Only the holiest of books. Holiest she of books. She holds up Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not wool in my universe. It is just grey. She sees that, she sees that book. Makai sees it. Jumps out the window. <laughs> There are Fifty humans shades of gray wool. So Fifty Shades of Grey is real. <laughs> it's real. Different but uh, no, voice. Daria says the holiest of books. So uh, yeah, getting back to that. And Makai goes, the holiest of books? What do you mean by that? In an inquisitive tone. Well, obviously I mean what I say. Um, want to take a look? I would very much like to. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to glance over at the book. You're instantly right. brainwashed. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you, uh, you take a look at the book, and uh, it is, in fact, holy, uh, holy text. However, suddenly the uh, pages fall off, and you see a... <clears throat> You see a copy of a uh, Play Cult Weekly. No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You do. You see uh, holy text. You see holy that Arya's talking about. Uh, it is talking about. I hope I pinned it in our conversation. No, I did not. No, you did not. It is talking about things and uh, uh, names uh, like the Shaba. Shava uh, and uh, words like Zana, 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 and, that guy. 
the war uh, and the way it's placing it and the texts it's kind of it's not really like anything you would have heard in like from anyone else anywhere matter of fact even if you made a religious check you probably wouldn't have heard anything at all yeah, it's so yeah, bad. Like... Roll, roll me a religion check to see if you've ever heard about whatever this book is talking about. That that twenty, and it turns out you're already a pro heretic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of underground. You probably haven't heard of it. <laughs> Not one of those mainstream. Religions. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. So. So, Mikai, you've never any of these names. Religion? Do is, you don't know what a Thrakalaka <laughs> is. You don't know any of these names. It's just a book. You all, all you know is that it's a holy book, and you'll take your word. You'll take Arya's word for it. Yeah, she's trying to tell the names in there. She and what comes out is like your Waka Waka. <laughs> the Wumpa Wumpa fruit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you do not. Basically, you've like, never heard of basically, this. Basically, mentally, like this is her. This is like her brain. <laughs> <laughs> a wampa wampa fruit, fruit me- necessary for ascension. <laughs> yes, but uh, you Stop have no them. idea what the what these texts are speaking of, or you've never heard of any of any of the people they are referencing, any of the gods they are referencing. I see. Well. You, uh, you can, you enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So. So that is. Yeah. It's, well, if no one's going to do anything else. Let's uh, cut ahead to a few hours from now. A few hours later, a few hours of flight later, of you guys doing whatever it is you're doing, delusional, you win no more money. That uh, that first round was your luckiest. Every other round, you, you've lost. You, you barely would... even got three pair, four of a kind, two pair. You got three rate. pair? That's <laughs> impressive. Oh, wait. I guess you can do that in Texas, Holden. Yeah. yeah. Uh, down switched up games to see if her luck would change, but it didn't. It didn't. I'm, I'm too used to one card draw. Yeah. I played both, but I've been so long I can't remember <laughs> either of them, and they're both kind of mixed up for me, hence why I was asking a lot. Uh, but uh, everybody else does their own thing. Sky, you come back an hour later, and uh, you, the, uh, the woman tells you that your cargo miraculously is still intact. It's still there. Uh, save for one small cardboard box, which they could never find. Oh no! So yeah, that's all you lost. <laughs> that was my everything special box. As a special box, no, but uh, everything else please. seems to be good. Excellent. Mm. Down, you you the only one. The one Arya continue to read your uh, religious text with Mikhail, uh just in the room, I guess, playing some music, maybe. Um, yeah, she's going to turn to Ari and say, uh, do you mind if I, uh, play a bit of music? She shakes her head now. So, uh, immediately Micaiah starts playing accordion. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Glenn is just wandering around the uh, ship, finding people to stab with needles. Uh, no. To heal them. No. They'd have to pay for that. That don't work for free. To so heal. wait, you stab them first, the and then you offer to heal them. Heal them. Glenn probably finds a place to get some fresh air, and then eventually just goes back to the room. Hmm. All right. So after a few hours, uh, the mm, yeah, the black box is containing the tiny men. Speak up once again and say, uh, 
We are about to dock in the ports. Please, everybody, uh, collect your belongings and be ready to unboard. <laughs> depart. 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 De- depart. Sure. Whatever. Disembark. Disembark. Yeah. Disembark. That's the word. Sure. Good job. That one. Thank you, stars. It's very helpful. I said it, but then people kept guessing, so I assumed I wasn't heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think anyone heard you. Sorry. No, I think I think everybody just keeps going until they finally find. It. But uh, yes, yeah, so eventually you see Bryn on the horizon, and it gets closer and closer until you're finally there. It's mere, mere feet, not talons, not hooves. Feet, feet away from you. You're about to dock and disembark. So the planks get lowered or raised. I don't know how it works. Uh, and there's this big uh, staircase now uh, connecting to your ship. As everybody slowly starts to file out of it. Multiple actually open up. So there's roughly uh, four or five from what you can tell. Eject the uh, life rafts. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they slowly, everybody slowly starts to disembark the ship. So now you guys are standing on the dock uh, where everybody is, I guess, just going about their day. You all turn around and look at this ship as a message starts to come up on the, uh, the ship's uh, boxes once more. As not the captain, but a woman's voice begins to speak. However, it speaks in a very monotone tone. And uh, it says, uh, Thank you for flying John Tron Airlines. We hope you had a nice yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you see the name of the ship, SS Titanic. <laughs> oh, my word. It didn't sink, though. It didn't sink. It didn't sink. <laughs> it's actually getting repaired, so this this Titanic made it. Jack, we gotta keep her cool here. There weren't even any flying eggplants. Hey, you suddenly see a flying egg. It's a power up. 1910 times were weird. <laughs> and this is roughly a little after 1910 times. Uh, Alright, but uh, no, in all seriousness. No, in all seriousness, that is the actual name of the airline. That... <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> How do you say that with all seriousness? <laughs> because I'm like, I don't know if I should keep this in, but ah, why not? <laughs> but, ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it in. Let's yeah. keep it in, boys. Um, anyway, so you are now in the city of Bryn and Vesta. You can change it now to that other picture. Oh, right. For the uh, for the viewers at home, wow! This is roughly what it looks like, and I will post it in here picture. so everybody else can see it. Uh, so yes. please do here, so I can download it. Thank you. Here is the city of Bryn. Oh, neat! It's yeah. like Hogwarts, but if it was a city. And mechanical because there are ships flying around. I go Todd's whiskey. Uh, so it's Hogsmeade. Yeah, is what delusional means. Mm. So you have. There's so it... many two-legged people in that picture. Gross. Oh, oh they're four, they're, they're four legged. Look at the right side of the picture. They're uh <laughs> pulling the carriage. <laughs> oh no! Discrimination. How much are they getting paid for? Oh, you Little did you know that they're actually like uh, waiters. They get paid less. However, they make a killing in tips. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Those horses are only three fifths citizens. Oh no! <laughs> no, uh, oh, my word. Uh, they also no, accept but, uh, chips and sugar cubes. Uh, uh, whatever. Um, so you all land in the city of Bryn, whereupon you exit the dock and are immediately met with uh, this uh, extravagant city. Uh, which is an odd mix of magic and machinery, as far as, as far as you can tell. You can see uh, a number of buildings surrounding you, including Todd's Whiskey. Oh. And, uh, I, I already mentioned that one. 
and uh, Todd's Whiskey and Todd's Whiskey and Todd's Tannery and Todd's Whiskey. And Tone Bros. And Tone Bros. Bros. Sounds like he's a pretty big deal. Yeah, Tone Bros. Who's and this, also the... Who's this Todd? <laughs> well, you're going to have to go in there. Did. I'm, I'm looking at that right now. I can't figure out what it is. STA 610. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was. I was trying to figure out what this Tone Brothers thing is. That's probably like a musical or something, right? Malaram. Everyone with musical oh, proficiency go there and perform. Momo. Yeah, there's a hotel right next to Todd's Whiskey. The exact oh, Black Pepper. Corner. The Tone Bros thing says Black Pepper at the bottom. I can't ah. remember the rest, though. Huh. Man. Mal, Malamar like Mal Malamar Lemming? and Malamar and Lemming Black Lemming King, I think. That's that was my Lemming. guess. Might be Lemming. Black pepper. Well, whatever. 